Welcome, in front of me is an LG K52 and today I'll show you how to bypass the Google verification. Now, as you can see, the phone in front of me is locked and I can unlock it using either a pattern, which will be important, so keep in mind that it is set to pattern, and also using the Google, obviously. So, to get started with the bypass, let's go back to the Wi-Fi page. Oh, I just missed it. Let's go back to it. There we go. And you do want to be connected to some kind of Wi-Fi, at which point uh, you will see that the next button is accessible, obviously, right? And what you want to do now is basically tap on the Wi-Fi to toggle it off, and a split second after you toggle it off, you want to tap on the next. This will trigger the phone to basically proceed further uh, while the Wi-Fi will be disabled. So let's do that right now. So we'll pop up uh, with this message, no internet, uh, your phone is not connected, blah, 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 whatever. Skip anyway. And this will glitch out and go back to the Wi-Fi. So simply re-enable it and repeat the process. At which point you repeat it a couple times until basically the phone decides, I believe that, well, did the app crash and just kind of let you progress further anyway. So again, toggle it off and press the next. Skip anyway, didn't work. Let's try that again. Again, as you can see, it's back on. So again, now this didn't work at all. Now this was again too slow. Not sure if this worked, let's see. Yep, it's still connected to Wi-Fi, so this time I think I pressed the next too quick. Okay, so I think this is it. So, if I'm correct, let's see. Let's cut up more and accept. Yep, this is it. So as you can see, it just kind of skipped, uh, disconnected from Wi-Fi, but then progressed further anyway, uh, without actually uh, blocking us or anything. So we want to get to this page right over here to secure your phone. And from here, all you really need to do is set up a new screen lock which will override the well, previous one. Now, as you've seen already, I did have a pattern set instead of uh, well, a pattern set. So I'm gonna set up a new one, uh, top, basically set up uh, only pattern pin or password, tap on next. And from here, just to keep it really different from the pattern that was there, I'm gonna go with a pin and simply choose your desired pin. So I'm gonna make a really simple one, one, two, three, four. Uh, then repeat it once more to confirm it, one, two, three, four. Okay, cool. It's now set. Yep, screen lock has been changed. So once that's done, uh, well, as you can see, the phone kind of glitches back to where it's supposed to be. Um, if it didn't, simply go back to the Wi-Fi anyway. That's where you want to be. And we enable the Wi-Fi. And again, this time, go to the setup once more. And you will see the clear difference right now that once it reaches the uh, Google verification, uh, it's now going to think that pin as the way of unlocking the device. So simply put the pin or whatever you have actually chosen, which for me is just a pin. So one, two, three, four. Okay, bam, the phone is unlocked now. And from here, you do want to basically skip most of this uh, that is gonna show up right here throughout the setup. I would still advise you that after you finish the setup, you still perform a factory reset to settings. Uh, now the true settings is a very important part because if you were to reset the phone through recovery mode, it would go back to being locked. If you do it through settings, it just will literally fully unlock itself, removing any kind of traces of the old account, which um, the old account that was blocking us is still present on the device. Now it's somewhere deep in there, but it doesn't really matter. So I'm gonna quickly finish the setup and show you where I can complete it
If it's look like like it's stuck right now, I can try to go back. If it's gonna stay this way for a bit longer, I'm just gonna reboot the device. Hopefully that won't be necessary. Okay, so uh, it's going a little bit too long, so let's hold power key. And select power off and restart. There we go. So that is only if the device decided to, I don't know, bug out and uh, and just go through an infinite loop of loading. Uh, if you could have finished the setup screen without restarting the device, then that's fine too. I uh, just simply go to the settings and then under system you will find reset and under there, there is a factory uh, or factory reset, I believe. Okay, so let's just unlock it right now. It will tell me that I need to put in, well, pin for the SIM card, that's not really important. Uh, it's basically the same as the pin that I have set, which now if I try to unlock it, I believe it's gonna yep, tell me to put in the pin that we have set up already. So let's just confirm it. One, two, three, four. And from here, I'm gonna progress through the setup once more. Hopefully this time around, it won't get stuck anywhere. Okay, so as you can see, uh, the setup is now finished. I'll give it a moment to actually load stuff up. There we go. So once you're on the home screen like I am, you want to go into the settings. Just choose later right here. And in the settings, scroll all the way down to system, reset and restart, or restart and reset, and then factory data reset. Now performing this will basically remove everything from the device again. Uh, it doesn't really matter. Just close this. Um, it doesn't really matter, there is nothing on the phone. Uh, the thing that it will remove actually is a Google account, uh, which in normal circumstances, the account would have been provided somewhere here, uh, basically letting you know what kind of Google account it will remove. Uh, but because the account that it's gonna remove is not really logged in, but it's still somewhere like on the, uh, on the phone, in case uh, you decide to reset it not through settings, uh, the device goes back to locked from here. If we choose to reset it, it will remove that account. So, reset phone. Now again, we need to confirm the pin that we have set. So, one, two, three, four. Confirm that. Delete all. Restart or reset. And the device will now begin the process of basically factory resetting. Now, this will take a couple minutes. And once it's finished, we should be then back again in the setup screen with the difference at that time uh, the device will be fully unlocked and we don't need to bypass anything we can from there set up our device as however we like if you want to skip connecting to wi-fi you are completely free to do so if you want to connect your wi-fi and add for instance google accounts again you are free to do so so i'll just give it a moment for it to finish up i'll be back once the setup screen is visible
Okay, so as you can see, uh, we set is now finished. So let's again go through the setup. Now this is the pin for the SIM card popping up. Yep, there we go. So enter pin and just confirm the pin and SIM card unlocked. Cool. Now I could have just easily taken out the SIM card, uh, but it doesn't really change anything. So let me change the language, there we go, English, and progress through the setup. Now I'm gonna go to the setup fairly quickly, skipping everything that I can, just so I can save on time. But like I said before, you can go through it as however you like and add whatever you want now. And there we go, we are now completely done with the bypass, with the device being fully unlocked. So if you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.